working in a new partner in on this. Real burnout on the ragged edge. Oh, perfect. Eh. Yay! Raj, meet your new partner. Hi guys and welcome back to Criminal Content. My name is Kobe and today I'm going to be watching Lethal Weapon. So I've never seen any of them. Um, this one I'm not as blind as some of the others. I know it's a cop buddy film, I want to say. Uh, I know it's Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, but that is the extent of my knowledge. So I'm kind of excited. I feel like a, a fun movie and I think that, you know, I think it's sort of universally loved, so mm, hoping for good things. So for the full watch along, head over to our Patreon, and with that, let's get into Lethal Weapon. Jingle bell. Oh, it's a Christmas movie? It's, is it set at Christmas? I mean, okay. <laughs> Jingle Hop has begun. They're the only two that I know are in it. So Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. And they're in like the whole franchise, I think. Oh, Gary Busey! Is this meant to be LA? Is it set in LA? Is she by herself? It's so performative, all the action. Read my Shane Black. I know Shane Black. Ah, I did not know that. Uh oh. No, don't jump. Don't kill yourself. Just. What an open though. Not the vibe of the movie I was expecting. I thought. I thought much more. Buddy, buddy. But I guess it's a bit like. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Betty! Happy birthday to you! I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on, come on. I like that they're in the mirror. I like the shot. Speak my vote. Oh, yes, all right, though, because I still love you. Bye, Bob. 50. 50's not old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, 80s Mel. Pre drama Mel. My graders reject 30% of the chickens government graders accept as grade A. That's why it pays to insist on a chicken with my name on it. If you're not. A lot of nudity for the first 10 minutes of the film. <laughs> hey, that's not bacon. Oh, it's mine now. Hey, don't you close doors around here? Baby, what's this on my tattoo? That is an ugly spot. Thanks. <laughs> Daddy, this is my New Year's Eve dress. Don't you like it? Isn't it cool? It's beautiful. Happy <laughs> <laughs> <Good> birthday. Approximately <laughs> five feet tall, 350 pounds, at three club bar, Vine and Melrose. Drunk, dude, and sick. Happy birthday. Five Rock. feet and how many pounds? All dressed up and no one to blow. <laughs> Can't believe it, Daddy. Uh, the jumper's name. The drunk walking. Hunsucker. Yeah, yeah, the pants. Michael and Claire. Claire. Right, find out about it. Who's, who's, who's paying the bills? That'll take some looking into. So look. <clears throat> but the, the guy calling him was Michael Hunsucker, but then the parents were who and Claire? Hey. Good, huh? Tasty, smooth. Why did I think he was a cop too, and they're partners? Or maybe they are gonna be, and he's undercover. But what the? <laughs> He's gotta be undercover. This is like Beverly Hills Cop intro. Undercover scams. I'll give you the best tree I got in a lot for nothing. Look how open this deal is in the middle of like a tree yard. Hey, you said you liked it. That's a fair price. Yeah, hell, you only live once. Get this together here. <laughs> cop badge falls out. Any... Maybe he's not a cop. This badge ain't real. You ain't real. Oh, you sure are a crazy son of a bitch. No, he is, right? He's a cop. Hey, noses in the... <laughs> I was, I don't know. It's not funny. I just... It's kind of funny. One of the guys looked like he got shot ever. I think it was just his shirt, but it looked like he got pelted, and he only got shot once. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Get him 
I guess they didn't want to risk missing and shooting Mel. Okay, that did shake him up. I was like, he's just a hothead. He's just like, you know, all in, whatever, whatever cost. Shoot him. His wife left him, or she died, or... That won't kill you. Don't do it. Even though we know he's not gonna die, I hope he doesn't actually do it and it just jam or something. I'll see you much later. <laughs> so far, not much of a comedy. We got some news on the Hunsaker case, Raj. That was quick. So was the autopsy. They're not calling it a suicide. First off, coroner found evidence she used barbiturates. Mm. Brilliant detective work. It's still a suicide. He still jumped. We saw it. Surprise is someone doctored the pill. If she hadn't jumped, she would have been dead inside 15 minutes. You look younger with the beard. Oh, she was poisoned before that. Condition of the sheets and the mattress indicate that someone else was in the bed with Amanda just before she died a year breaking in a new partner in on this. Real burnout on the ragged edge. Oh, perfect. Eh. Yay! Raj, meet your new partner. <laughs> it's so 80s and cheesy, but fun. But that was a lot. Well, I'll also say that you're heavy into martial arts. I suppose we have to register you as a lethal weapon. Hey, the title. God hates me, that's what it is. Hate him back, it works for me. So I guess if Busey wasn't in that, you know, the police station and stuff, he's gonna be the, he's gonna be the villain. Busey's gonna be the bad guy. I'm guessing. But then I'm here we go. <laughs> Do you smoke? Hey man, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Shut oh, your mouth, Jesus Christ. Shut up! I know this guy. I can't think of what he's in. He's in a TV show. Mr. Uh -oh. Joshua, your left arm, please. Hey, man, you guys are on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. He's, he's not even the head head guy, but he's his head honcho. He's his number one. Have Endo look at that, Mr. Joshua. Yes, sir. Wow. The bulk of the heroin will be here Friday night. We'll make delivery at that time. Have the money ready and no tricks. If you try anything, You'll have to talk to Mr. Joshua. Yeah, right. I got you. Crazy Joshua. Why did you try to get in touch with me? Oh, well, I heard that you were... Yeah, weird timing. She was making uh, videotapes. Every parent's dream. You're fine. I mean, you killed him. You can do that. You owe me. Gotta go, man. <laughs> hey, what did he mean when he said you owed him? Uh... We served together in 1965. Hey, the Wiltern. All units come in, please. All units. Uh, the, hey, what's the number of your car here? Uh, three William 56. Three William 56 on uh, roof. God, I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more jumpers. Was that some off party? Walked upstairs and went outside. Yeah, you think you'll go? Seems serious enough, who knows? All right, people, can I get you to move, please? Like, uh, sounded like Jennifer Esposito for a second, but it wasn't. Who are you? Riggs, homicide. Just go straight up. <laughs> no, like, approach with caution. I'm just gonna come out there, okay? Oh, no, 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 you! You touch me, I'm gonna jump! Uh, this guy. Take it easy. Look, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, I know that. It's not like you're murdering anyone or anything. That's right. That's right. Same way I look at it. He went out there super confidently, but he also doesn't really sound like he knows what he's doing. My boss is down there and he's watching me, so you know, I gotta make it look at least like I'm trying to say. <laughs> Here, you wanna want a cigarette? We can take our time and both die of cancer. Make you leave it out. Oh no. What are you doing? Now you can jump if you want to, but you'll be taking me with you and that makes you a murderer. Okay? Come on, let's go you back. You bastard! Yeah, you'll be killing a cop. Now, yeah, I'll be killing a psycho nut cop! Yeah, a psycho Oh my gosh! Yeah, that could just make him that angry that... That's fine with me. Come on. Let's do it. Let's oh, let's do it. What? I want to do it. I want to do it. What do you mean? What is going on? Do they have like a balloony thing up? <laughs> 
Oh, go over again! But then if they had the balloon, if they had the crash mat up, why didn't they care if he just jumped by himself? Jump, don't jump. What the f you got to do? Well, I control the jump. Wanted him down, he's down. That's funny. Hey, come here, somewhere. Here with me. <laughs> but I don't get why they wouldn't uh, jump. I don't know. But if you're gonna try and kill yourself, you're not just gonna jump into the air mat. He's hurting. He's in pain. There's something eating away at this guy. I think he's on the edge. What do you mean something? His wife died. It's not a secret. I didn't know that it was your birthday today. No, it was yesterday. You know, happy birthday for yesterday. Thanks. <laughs> so we got an address on Amanda Hunsaker's meal ticket. But remember, he's not a suspect yet. So we question him, not damage him. Okay? Oh, sure, you have to yeah. teach him how to be a cop. Just because you're a new partner, he's not a new cop. Uh, you're not going to smoke in the car. Well, I am. <laughs> what, does this bother you? I mean, I'll put it out if it bothers you. Yeah. I've seen this place on Lifestyles of the Rich and Shameless. Gotta love that 80s saxophone. <gasps> Look at them. So happy and chirpy getting all the drugs together like it's a Tupperware party. Hands in front of you, face down. Oh, oh my leg, man. Don't move between her or break your oh. arm. Got him. I love the fa 80s fashion. Okay, now I'm happy. Just freedom is right, and I'll stand over here being happy. Uh, he's got a gun! <laughs> no killing, just killed someone else. That's not just jumping in the pool swimming. He's the, He would be wrapped in that plastic because it went around him. No, he's gone. He shot him, right? You haven't met anybody. You didn't kill? Well, I haven't killed you yet. And he didn't kill a roof guy. You saved my life. Thank you. Yeah. I bet that hurt to say. You never know. <laughs> you want something to drink, Mark? Well, what do you got? We have Canadian. Oh, no. He's going to think the older daughter is attractive or something. You're yeah. offensive about here. You ever go fishing? Oh, not since I was a kid. I used to go spear fishing with a snorkel. Or the other way around. She likes him. <laughs> How old? I wonder if she meant to be like 18 or 20. Mr. Riggs, would you like that tart? Thank you, yeah. Call me Martin. Uh, this is Mr. Riggs. <laughs> Chill on the familiarity. <laughs> My name is Terry. I'm no fairy. My sister's oh, oh. Sherry. She's in love with this guy named Mike. Terry! You need some help. I am. That was funny. He wouldn't have shot that. They didn't show him at all doing that little rap, so that would have been something they added later. I don't make things complicated. That's just the way things get all by themselves. Yeah. You mean a man hunts like his murder. You don't have to say a word. I can read your mind. Good partners, then. Well, I enjoyed the meal. Thanks a lot. I'm bullshit, but... Thanks anyway. You don't trust me at all, do you? You make it through tomorrow without killing anybody. <laughs> then I'll start trusting you. He likes him. Even 10 guys in the world could have made that shot. It's the only thing I was ever good at. He's a sniper. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I'll see you. Killing people is all he's ever been good at. You really like my wife's cooking? No. No. <laughs> VHS tape, I love it. These are her pornographic movies. She's got a twin. She has a twin. What was the name of that hooker who witnessed the oh, jump? Come on, you let me go to sleep. No, come on, we gotta get up and catch bad guys. Gotta get up and catch bad guys. Someone was in bed with the man the hunt the night she died. Right up till now, we assumed it was a man. Okay, suppose it was Dixie. Or her sister. Officer, officer, I saw the whole thing. Aye, right, that's pretty thin. That's very thin. Now, what the hell, thin's my middle name. Yeah, your wife's cooking, I'm not surprised. 
<laughs> Read them and weep. <laughs> this will be better. Step back, baby. Let me show what old man can do. Just warming up. Just warming up. Hey, but he just told you he's like an ace sniper. This is his, you know, forte. Hey, look at that, will you? Not bad for an old man. Hey, step aside, old man. Da, 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 da. What's he gonna do? Because that was good if Danny Glover was right there. Did he write something? Or do like, I, I, no, it was something. Because he did like six shots or so. It's gonna be impressive. Yeah! <laughs> Have a nice day. Da, 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 da. Seven shots he did. That was good. Well, no, we're just going over there for a cup of coffee. We're going over here to have breakfast. Oh my gosh! And they're in plain clothes, and the kids are like, here are the cops. See, was that just luck that they weren't two seconds earlier, or was it on, can someone see and detonated it? I don't think something like that would be a remote control, so I think that that was just a really lucky timing thing. An explosion at 111 to launch. Request ambulance. Two seconds earlier, they would have been at the door, pressing the doorbell, and burnt to a crisp. Blown to smithereens. He was playing some kind of game, hiding under the porch. It could be a break. Oh, what are you kidding? Those kids are six years old. If that. You call the <laughs> Sure did. Yeah, but they're no one's on it. To check that meter for at least a... Look at him. So cute. My name is Detective Murtaugh. What's yours? Don't tell me your name was gonna put you in jail. And you won't see your mom. <laughs> no. Don't tell me your name, Alfred. Uh, Alfred. Oh. They're very cute. Is that a real gun? Mama says police misshoot black people. Maybe we yeah, uh, true, give the kids some true. ice cream. I, I, ice ice cream? cream? You like ice cream? They're all very good. Look at their little performance. Tell me what he looks like. Was he black? Mm -mm. Was he white? Mm -hmm. Did he look like Gary Busey? It was that. Exactly like that? Mm-hmm. It had a knife in it. What does it say? Never something. Roger, that's a special forces tattoo. Mercury switches. What the hell have we gotten into here? And it's Busey, right? The blonde hair. But what, he's not wearing a jacket or a shirt, he's wearing a tank top so the little kid could see his arm that clearly? It's all run by ex-CIA, soldiers, see? mercs. Special forces. You were getting cold feet, why did they kill Amanda? Why not just kill you? My company, the bank, it's a perfect front. It makes everything look great on the tax report. Imagine that. It's your fault. Your bad dealings and bad decisions just killed your daughter. He doesn't even seem that caught up about it. Sources Roger, I abroad. I want to know how I've long you've been into daughter. this. You people I want can't all protect the information I am in this give too me. deep, Roger. Oh, and then they just come out of nowhere. He's right there in the window. At the daughter's funeral? He is the man to be shooting. Through? Started. I can't believe he just flew up to that window to shoot him in the through through the office door. That's why I think it's time we turned up the heat. Come on home. Had this girl in the stable. You know this girl? No, I never seen her before. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm pissed, Roger. No, I'm pissed. Oh, Christ. Okay, good, good. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> You're two inches higher. They would have gotten you here. Yeah, yeah, two inches lower. I'd have been a falsetto for life. Come on, let's yeah. fuck off. I bet you saw <laughs> I would have been a falsetto for life. Without luck, we're doing forest lawn commercials. Bullshit. We got the edge coaches. Roger, they think I'm dead. I'm a corpse. Ah, uh, this is true. <laughs> Good idea. Put it out there that he's dead. What? I got a feeling they just gave a description of the kid my daughter's dead. I know he was saying that about the guy the daughter dated, but then when he took it seriously, was it because Busey's born with dimples and he's actually gone to the family's house? Or Pitts, as he called them, not dimples? A bastard's got my daughter. What is it? 
tell her. You have to. Brandon, you're wrong. So they really did take her. Busey wrote that, and they've got his daughter. Myrtle. You have a very beautiful daughter. If I were you, I'd stick by the phone to find out where to meet us. Busey's got her. I want Murtaugh taken alive. He may not talk. We have his little girl. He'll talk. It is killing me where that older guy's from. We're gonna get bloody on this one, Roger. Are you really crazy? Or are you as good as you say you are? You're gonna have to trust me. Here we go. This is a good plan, though. The fact that they think he's dead and he can just snipe them from far away. We just want to know what Hunsacker told you. Dry Lake, Victorville, sunrise tomorrow. It's kind of stupid, though, in the sense that they want the two cops, you know, that Hunsacker would ever talk to. But he could have, Danny Glover could have now told the entire police force everything he knows. So if they're just trying to take out anybody that was privy to that information, it could be 15 other cops by now. So... It doesn't really make sense. He has, you know. Good job with Mel out there. <laughs> There's a helicopter, and then is there something below it, or it's just Mirage? No, and a car. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and a van, a car, a van, a helicopter. Ha! That looks cool, though. Flying solo. But as soon as he shoots once, they'll know he's there in the wings, you know? So he's either got to be prepared to take, like, a whole bunch out in one fell swoop. But these guys are just killing everybody that, you know, I'm surprised they're even bargaining with his daughter, you know? Did they bring enough manpower? Lee Smell Gibson wore a good outfit for the camouflage of the location. I feel like he hasn't been spotted. He has a grenade! He wouldn't risk killing his own daughter! He's gonna die with me! My way, not yours! Where's the main guy? Because Busey's not the head head. <laughs> that was not smooth at all! This is Spoker. Bingo. Oh. Nice one. Two. The one with the hair. Where the hell is he? Damn it, it's Riggs. <laughs> Get Busey! Good stunts, though. I like the old school practical stunts. You know, it's really happening. I don't know why just getting out of the car and laying there was better, though. Mm -hmm. I told you everything I know. It's funny seeing Busey all, like, neat haircut and put together, because normally, you know, whether it's point break or just him in life, it's a little more, like, out there. Hit him again! <laughs> But there's water everywhere. It's kind of a bit risky for electrocution. Like, you know, when somebody gets the electric chair, they wet the sponge so that it conducts the electricity better. But now there's water everywhere. I feel like the torture guy could get electrocuted. Oh, he's wearing gloves, rubber gloves and stuff. Still. Sorry, pal. Maybe nice. Yeah. He's too good. Mel Gibson's great in this. And he's just like a star cop. That's a real good looking young woman you got there. There's no more heroes left in the world. Called for a hero? Let's do what one shepherd said to the other shepherd. Let's get the flock out of here. The flock? Is that what he just said? Wait, that wasn't Busey. Was that just another heavy? Uh, not Joshua. Not Joshua. Saw the blonde hair. Thought it might have been. That's Busey. The 80s scene. 
What theater is that? Where are we? Is that the Virgil? No, the um, the one like on Sunset. Oh, Moose on Franks, we're in Hollywood. He's shot. Time for you to die. Third Street Bridge. They're in Hollywood. Third Street Bridge is in like more downtown. Where's Third Street Bridge? You know what I noticed too, like with these older movies, the 80s like action sequences, it's not as many shots of the one stunt. So like that was like the wide, it was the master on that car going down. And even this, you know, it doesn't cut back and forth to an interior to like, you know, a close up on the driver's face or whatever. It's just like, here's your stunt. <laughs> they don't like over cover it. Cause I guess they don't have that many times to do it. You know, you just get it once. <laughs> Shit! Got it! Get down my car! After all that? Open the door! Kill that cop, son of a bitch! No way! Nice! And then they just cut to the interior. They did exactly what I said they don't do. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course. They just don't overdo it. He's covered in heroin. <laughs> what is that? Grenades? What was that? It's so dark. Oh. That was the main bad guy, right? Well, first thing we gotta do is get to the hospital, huh? Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. They did it. <laughs> Everybody's just gonna get high from breathing all the fumes. Son of a bitch knows where I live. Well, I'll drive, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. drive. But I mean, Joshua's boss just exploded. But I guess he is a badass. He's probably gonna try and continue to cause them ill will. But that was who exploded, right? The head, the main guy. Excuse me, sir. May we help you? No, thank you. He is, he's rogue. He doesn't even have a boss anymore and he's still like going after them. What does he care? The shipment's ruined, all the merchandise blew up and he doesn't have a boss to pay his checks anymore. So why is he just killing everybody? I love it if the wife just turns around and shoots him. Dear bad guys, no one here but us cops. Sorry, the good guys. <laughs> Oh, they're not even in there. Just do it. That's what you do. Looking for your general friend? Busey looking so neat and tidy. <laughs> Is Glover gonna kill him? Is is Mel Gibson gonna kill him? Or are they just gonna let him get arrested? Just keep the sense clear. If Busey doesn't even have a gun. Come on, Come on. Come on. Christmas. <laughs> More Christmas. Just a sprinkling of Christmas throughout the whole film. Briggs. But they're just letting him fight him, and Mel's ripped. With the whole crowd just waiting around. Come on, let me take him! No, please! No! Oh, he, they want to. Mel just doesn't want them to. He wants to take him on his own. Now that makes more sense. No worries. He changed him to not need to kill everyone. 
But I still feel like Gary Busey was like, would get a gun at the last second and then they'd shoot him, you know what I mean? Exactly like this! Exactly like that. Because then we get the morality lesson of Mel Gibson, you know, having mercy and not just wanting to take out all this pain and aggression on everybody. But then, but then Gary Busey still died. Deservedly. Self-defense, not just, you know, trigger happy. Merry Christmas, Victoria. Oh, man. Mrs. Riggs, 84. <sighs> Christmas still. Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, I'm good. You? Yeah, I'm good. What's the age gap between them? Are they okay to hook up? Are they okay to get together? Yeah. It's a hollow point. Hey, you wanna come in? We're, we're building. No, I, well, I gotta go. They're cute. Secret. What? I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, I, I think your daughter kind of likes me. Do you mind if I bring a friend? Oh, I should bring a friend. Hey. Who, who, who? Yeah! <laughs> Burbank is the cat's name. <gasps> So the guy that was driving me crazy was, I guess, the general, Mitchell Ryan. So I don't know, that doesn't sound familiar, but there is something that he's in and I just know him, even with the high neck, maybe like a dad and like, I don't know, like a Will and Grace or something like that. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, that was fun, that was great. I mean, it was like a little, a little cheesy and a little bit formula, but fun. And, uh, and I think that especially, you know, back then it would have been awesome. Um, but it was, it was great. It was a little bit predictable. But also one of the things I think is like they kind of blow over the fact that his wife died. Like this really traumatic thing happens and they're like, you know, he's, he's, he's crazy, he's reckless. It's like he kind of is going through a huge, huge loss um, and mourning and grief. But I like it. I like the dynamic. I like Gibson and Glover together. I'm excited for number two. I hope they step it up a little bit um, and it's even bigger and better. So we'll see. I will see you next time for Lethal Weapon 2 uh, here on Criminal Content. Bye.